YouTube, YouTube, what's good with y'all? It's your man Gip and I'm back with another video. Back with another trucking vlog, y'all. Your boy been on the missing list for what? Going on 90 days, man. I was I was getting close to pushing my little hiatus slash vacation over into more like the five month mark. Bruh. I said, nah, let me get on back over here. Been getting a lot of comments. Cats, you know, supporters, man, appreciate my content. Been talking about where I'm at. Boy been on the missing list, man, but we back trucking today. Saturday workflow, Bam Bam is out of town for a family reunion down in Louisiana, man. I didn't take that trip down there with all to stay here and grind and stay focused on everything that we got going on right now. Uh, real brief, I'll touch on it. I've been, we know, my whole family, we've been going through a lot of turmoil recently with uh, a business of ours. I'm not going to get into the particulars and the details of what we're dealing with, man. But I will say this. When you start a business, man, be careful who you hire. When you do hire that person, be careful how much access you give them to your personal information. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. We still trucking. We in the B. Haven't been in this thing in over 90 days. Wasn't finna sit in the house over the weekend. It's a beautiful day. Um, I said, let me get out here, man, and get the oil going through the engine. I was just crazy. A couple weeks ago, I had to try to start the truck, and I had to jump this thing. And uh, I will also, that damn chat GPT and all this new AI technology, man, you can really learn a lot from that I, you know I just learned a lot just from having your truck sitting up like that it's not good on the seals it's not good on all the moving parts within your engine you got to keep that oil moving so now I know if I ever do any long-term stories like that just sitting up where I'm not working I got at least you know start this thing at least two three times a week and let the motor run for a good 20 30 minutes don't need no seals going bad and cracking and then when we do want to come out work we're dealing with leaks underneath the truck so we don't want to be dealing with that but I did pick up a little local load with Amazon. You can see this blue well in front of me. About 20, 30, about 30 more minutes uh, until I need to check in. Possibly can go check in now. They may have a trailer available for me. Total run, probably do about 100 miles today. You know, just want to get out the house, get back in the rhythm, get my flow back going with this trucking. Stay down, you know, with what I love to do. Stay down with you guys. I enjoy making videos. But I'm telling you, man, this this blow that we got hit across the head from, it just took a lot out of me. And I couldn't pick up the camera. But I got the camera in my hand today. We finna grind. We finna knock these couple little logs down. I got to pick this trailer up right here in Orange County. Take it over to Riverside County. Drop it there. Pick up another trailer in Riverside County. And head back west to L.A. County. All right, so I done checked in here at the Amazon facility. And if you haul for Amazon, you guys already know how it goes. Sometimes you book these loads. They'll send you somewhere 40, 50 miles to pick up an empty trailer from a facility that's probably close to where you're picking up a loaded trailer. I kind of try to figure out the system. To me, I believe that's how it goes. As long as I've been doing it, I'm 95%, 98% sure that I'm right about that. But anyhow... At this facility here, it's probably about four, four, uh, three to four tractors out here sitting, waiting. And I'm sure that they're probably waiting for their uh, departure time, just like me. Because the thing is, when you get here and get checked in, and they don't have a trailer available you got to sit and wait till your departure time. My departure time is like about roughly an hour from now and um let me just go ahead and do a couple things that i want to do to the truck before i connect to the trailer at my next destination like it's been a while man 90 days i definitely want to get some grease on this fifth wheel uh it's a target right over this wall 
wood hop this wall, but ain't no telling what's up in this damn grassy area. We're having a lot of rattlesnakes and different type of uh shit you don't want to come across without no good boots on, you know what I mean? Oh! So I'm not tripping, I'm not complaining, I'm just sharing with you guys what's going on with your boy for the day. It's been a minute, man. I'm not in no rush. I'm just happy to be back in the saddle. I ain't gonna lie to you. The bee, she ran like a champ down here, letting that oil get nice and warm. It's about a 40 minute ride down here to this facility. And uh, all checked in. We're gonna kill this hour, staying productive. Walk around here to Target. See if we can get a cold beverage. Grab some Windex. Clean the glass on her. Got to have your vision nice and clear. You feel me? So let's get this done, man. Let's get some grease on that fifth wheel. I had just went over to uh, AutoZone, man, and picked up some of this multi-purpose red grease. I'm gonna rub across the back of that damn dry fifth wheel. I'm not gonna put too much on there. Cause then you rub too much grease on it and when you go connect to the damn trailers all you do is push all the grease forward then it gets all down on your drive line which a little grease on that can do as well but uh I'm not finna get into greasing the whole truck up man we just gonna lube this damn fifth wheel up don't need to be creating too much friction and the fifth wheel plate in the apron of the trailer, man. These little plastic gloves on what's going on in here. Let's get a cool little rub some baby oil on the baby's butt, y'all. Here we go. It's like this, man. I'll get it on there nice and good. Lube her up. Mm -hmm. That's what she need, man. Dig back down in here. Just replaced the lights as well last night. These LEDs, guess they burn out after a couple years. Moisture, water, and shit get down in here. So I got that done. This thing absorbs up a lot of this grease. I might put the whole damn can on here. Okay, so we made it to the second stop. We on the three stopper. This is stop number two, guys. Just got checked in. The trailer is available for pickup and parking space 403. It's gonna be on this side, kind of down. We in the threes. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get connected. Do a quick pre-trip of the Amazon trailer. Jump back on the highway, head west back towards the city, drop this thing off. I may go kill an hour in the gym or I may just keep grinding and uh, get one of them late workout ins tonight. Actually been kind of liking the, uh, the way I've been working out at night, man. Go in there, tire yourself out, hammer it down on the iron. Do the cardio, go home, shower up, hit the sack. I gotta get control of my diet though, man. I done probably picked up five or 10 pounds. You know what I mean? I work out way too hard in the gym to go and after that eat the way that I do. Where we at, man? Four, parking space, 403. <laughs>
just like I already knew that damn grease is all over the frame. Let's go back here. Make sure we got some flashes on the trailer. Blinking, indicating we got good power connection for our lights. This tank is loaded, just like I knew. Clearance lights is good. Flashes is good. Service lights is good. Mud flap over here. Tires is good. Locking pins is in place. Airlines look good on the trailer. Let's do it moving, man. Let's get this landing gear up. Go dump this baby off. See what we can do after this, y'all. Alright, y'all, we are out, man. Boy, he got some weight on the back of him. It's been a minute. It's like riding a bike though. Checked out. Jump on this highway, baby. It's another thing with these Amazon people. Sometimes you look at the loads, you look at the load. And it might have you down as working for like six hours, seven hours, all the way up to 13 hour blocks, right? But don't always just assume you're gonna be putting in all them hours. Like the GPS got me getting to my final stop an hour early, which would then make me be finishing my job an hour early. But that's contingent upon once we arrive over there, once I get checked in to where we taking this loaded trailer, they actually go ahead and let me leave an hour early and drop this on their yard. It's a live unload for them, but you know, it's a drop for me. Just putting it in their yard somewhere. Okay, providers, we made it to stop three of three. An hour early. Bust your boy right on up in here. Told me to drop it at any available dock over here to the left. And that's what we about to do, man. Dump this thing in one of these uh, dock doors and they yard go can deal with it a little bit later when they're ready to unload. Let's see where we gonna put this thing at. Still fairly early. See if I can grab another lit nine years old. And uh, before we shut it down. Man, these little open spaces. They got these containers. Those little 40s tucked up in here. Let's see if we can swing him up in here, man. Not much kick out room. Let's see if I can pop him in here. Let's go down here and check. See if two is open. Swing him out here and turn this into a straight line back instead of doing all that maneuvering. If it ain't no container right here, we Gucci. Oh, yeah, we going in right there. Let's get in there, man. Door number one. Some of these little ah, 
Elbow grease, man. Normally doing shoulders and arms. Later tonight when I hit the gym. Shit, this. Free workout with these, baby. Ooh. I'm on Amazon. It's amazing, this guy. But they do got it on here where you could uh, leave remarks as far as the trailer. A lot of people probably don't do it. I didn't do it just now. Leave these little notes in there. They'll get somebody to come attend to it. I think this one probably just need a little... Uh, a little grease on it. Let's pull the pin. Ah. We unlock from the trailer. Air lines, electrical lines, it's hung. Let's roll, y'all. That was easy. Hey, man, we grinding. Your boy caught another load. A one-way, an empty trailer move that was like, what, uh, what was this, about eight miles from where we just dropped off the loaded trailer for Amazon. It's another Amazon load. Might as well take advantage of it. Quick little one-way load back out to the Inland Empire, where it's pretty much really a better place to kind of like hang out if you bobtail, because the chances of, uh, catching something leaving out of one of the Amazon facilities out on that side is a lot greater than hanging out in the West LA area. So I'm a mile out, go grab this empty. Hopefully they have it empty. If not, we'll go ahead and take the tow new. We'll, we'll you know, gladly accept the tow new. But uh, to a further extent, hopefully they do have the trailer so we can get the full rate. And like I said, that'll put me back out in the area where I was trying to hang out at anyway. Cool little Planet Fitness out on that end as well. Switch it up from that dump I've been going to every night. It's crazy, man. Planet Fitness, come on now. Y'all got to step your game up with the bathroom cleaning. I was in there last night. I guess they had like a leak or something in the ladies' restroom. Water was all out. Into the workout area, all on the rubber mats. The people ain't out there like with the mops or nothing, man. This is ridiculous, man. I'm going to have to go on and just break bread with LA Fitness and, and start screwing around with them because at this point I still just cannot wrap my head or make it make sense to me to be spending like $350 a month to work out at damn Equinox. It ain't that serious. I like getting down, but shit, $350, that's a whole year membership with these people I'm currently dealing with. But enough of that, man. Let's get over here. 0.8 miles to this empty trailer. Hope the traffic isn't too bad going back out that way. But if it is, I'm going to do nothing but embrace it. Embrace it, man. I'm happy to be back in the saddle. Bumblebee is holding up real well. Gage is just reading perfect. She's purring, man. Yeah, let's hope they got this trailer ready to rock and roll and uh, 60 miles back out, right back out to where we just came from with that loaded. All right, guys, so we sat here for that full hour, an hour on the nose. I reached out to ROC and went on and issued the tow new rate, which is cool, which is cool, 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 man. Tow new rate with Amazon is $175, guys, if you didn't know. Once you show up to do a job for them and there's no trailer available and you basically spent your time driving there, sitting and waiting, they give you $175 for that job. All right, guys, so I got a couple bids in on two Uber Freight loads. Uber Freight, from what I've been seeing, I haven't done anything with them and shit even longer than Amazon but it does look like they done bump their stuff up everything gets past two dollars per mile going out of state or intrastate I bid on two local uh, Niagara water loads one picks up at like 1 a.m. it delivers at Costco at 6 a.m. and then you know Costco's uh, most of the time they're fast Every time I've been, I've seen the remarks and the comments from other drivers. So at the facility that this uh, first load is going to, they get it off pretty fast. 6 a.m. appointment. So let's say I'm pulling out of there by 8. 
And then they got another pickup at the same Niagara. I just probably about an hour and a half ride back. It'll pick up at 11 and it'll bring me back in towards LA. So I bid it on both of those. It would be nice to get both of those loads. I'll be working all day tomorrow.